Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. Uh, I ran into an interesting workaround for bird animosity towards human beings yesterday. The prior day I noticed a similarity between the way that a baby Nande intones I love you with its parent and the way that a mother dolphin intones I love you to its babies and I thought could be this is a universal language for the birds and the humans since love makes the world go around love is the nature of God love is the nature of light workers and so I went back to the place where the Nandes were and they came on with animosity again just a couple of them this time and so telepathically I said to them in the same tone as as the baby Nandes have towards their mother in the same tone as the mother dolphin has towards its babies I said to them I love you I love you and they said no you don't that was vocalizing and I said on the telepathic plane yes I do and then they weren't mean to me anymore. Saw so two. I asked them where everybody was that day. I was speaking telepathically and they were re responding, vocalizing. They said that everybody was at a banjo concert that was in the same property. I said, oh, how is it? Because they could hear it even from where I was and I could only hear the deep tones. Um, they said it's it's really quite good. So I missed out on the Nandes. So then I went down near the ocean where I could hear the pelicans talking. And the seagulls. And there where I was at the fish restaurant by the ocean, there were two very mean ravens and they were doing that thing that thing that I was scared of from the other place where they bullied around with me and, you know, for all I know, might have attacked me, pecked out my eyes or something, or tried to. And so I was immediately on the alert. I was, I'm now a little bit leery of the ravens. So I tried, since there was the sound of the surf and so forth, I tried vocalizing. I think it was, maybe it was telepathically. I love you like that. I can't do it really high like the mother dolphin does. I love you. And one of the ravens, they were they were first vocalizing their anger, like in the other video that I did. Um, and when it heard that, it said, mm, like that, mm. <laughs> out loud. And they went off and they stopped bothering the people there. We were sitting outside eating eating at the restaurant. I think they were after the food initially. And all the time that I was there, they didn't bother the people anymore. So so this is what I'm getting at. I think if we can vocalize on the telepathic plane, if we're light workers, or else vocalize with our vocal cords, I love you. When we approach an avian species, I think we may be getting off on the right track with them and then we could observe what they say to each other and so forth. Uh, we, we, we might be able to talk right along with them then instead of encountering this extreme antagonism. I think the antagonism has to do with their species being hunted and killed by human beings. I'm going to attach a clip or two that shows other species vocalization of the words, I love you, and you can compare it to what I'm saying right now. Okay. First, here's the baby Nande saying to its mother, I love you. So now, here's the mother dolphin saying to its babies, I love you. So now here's what I came up with. It depends on your own vocal cords, how you would pronounce this and what tone you would use, what scale you would use. But here's my, 
here's my attempt at something similar to that. I love you. You have to say it with an open, clear heart. You can't say it with anger in your heart. I love you. I love you. I love you. Any of those would do, I think. You can come up with something. That's all for now. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days. Love, light, and joy. This is Alice B. Claggett. I'm of the stars and so are you. Come and visit me at my world-class A1 WordPress website, Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com. There you will find the context of the video that you're watching right now the greater picture.